what are the patients understanding about fecal and urinary incontinence management? My name is Luis Lopez Bando, functional urology from Spain. These are my disclosures in relation to this Astra. Digital transformation has redefined the way patients and providers communicate and obtain health information. These technologies have begun to, to obtain information without the traditional constraint of distance, location, and time. A growing body of evidence supports the use of digital health technology from improving patient education and implementation of skills and behaviors integral to lifestyle medicine. Clinica Urol is a website leader in functional urology in Spain. Through online interaction, we pursue relevant patient information in relation to functional urology to achieve this transformation. Digital patient education is more easily understood, remembered, and shared, and improved patient decision making and perception of their care. Combined fecal and urinary incontinence is not uncommon, and its pathophysiology involves multiple factors. This patient should be evaluated by a multidisciplinary group of specialists and should be offered appropriate measures to improve their quality of life. The main objective is to analyze the level of knowledge of the population about urinary and fecal incontinence management. The secondary objective is to educate and inform the population about incontinence through the answers to the question posted in the form. An online survey was performed to evaluate the knowledge of fecal and urinary incontinence in general population. All the cases were recruited in people who respond to an online survey posted on a website based on functional urology. An ad hoc self-reported questionnaire was specifically designed to obtain the main objective of the study. The statistical analysis was performed with SPSS. The online survey was posted on a website based on functional urology and on social media to enhance the impact. The results were obtained for more than 4,000 sessions, 2,500 start the survey, and 1,000 finally answered the total survey. To obtain the previous mentioned results, 600 euros has been invested. When the campaign started, it began to be shown equally both handers. However, women tended to respond more frequently. 93% were of respondents were women, the highest percentage between 50 and 70 years old. The data collected is quite representative since the regions with the largest population are those who have obtained the more responses. Around 40% of those surveyed have university or higher studies, while around 50% of those survived have only a school graduate or higher degree. Regarding urinary incontinence, the first question was if stress incontinence only affects women. According to the response obtained, 80% do not agree with this statement. The second question was, if urinary incontinence has no solution and you have to find the best absorbent, 93% think that this statement is false. When we ask about self-health tips to relieve urinary incontinence, more than 80% think that the performing pelvic floor exercise with advice is the best measure that can be taken to improve incontinence. The next measure, with the highest percentage of response, is loose weight and avoid constipation with 54% of the responses, followed by avoiding the, consumes, the consumption of tobacco, coffee, tea or alcohol or increase the consumption of red fruits and probiotics. About conservative management, the majority of respondents think that the kegel exercises help to improve the pelvic floor. Only 46% believe that the drug treatment is effective in case of urgency or overactive bladder or stress incontinence. And 90% claim that surgery is not the only solution for urinary incontinence. 
when we ask about the different surgery approach for stress incontinence, close that 80% applied for a sling mesh as a valid alternative, but less than 40% know that know that bulking agent or artificial spinter were also an adequate alternative. About conservative management of fecal incontinence, 90% affirm that there are solutions for it, and surgery is not the only one. Regarding the measures to improve fecal incontinence, there is a great variety of response among those surveyed. Among the measures that people believe most to improve incontinence are avoid glass in fluid intake, avoid constipation, and avoid diarrhea. We can see that there is misinformation regarding transanal irrigation systems. There is a considerable variable in knowledge about urinary incontinence management. However, this is also much significant concerning fecal incontinence. The participation of women in this questionnaire has been majority compared to men. Knowledge of the treatment of urinary incontinence is far superior to that of fecal incontinence. There is some heterogeneity regarding the knowledge of some conservative measures to improve urinary and fecal incontinence. Thank you.